Hey everyone, welcome back to The Rocketeer. In this video, I'm going to test this 54 millimeter motor one more time. As you can see, it has a pretty good sized nozzle there. It has 3.3 pounds of fuel in it, 1500 grams. Yeah, that's a lot of fuel. I did a previous test on it, and you can go back and see that video. I'll leave a link in the description. And I missed my target burn rate slightly. I wanted it to burn between 2 and 2.2 seconds or so, and it burned for 2.6. Now, that's not really a big deal. I still got a K600 out of it, which was great. But uh, I think I'd like to push the performance of that, ramp that pressure up just a little bit more, and see what we can get out of it. So I have three options. I can change the amount of Bates grains that I use. The Bates grains looks like this. And this is a Sorbitol Bates grain here. It's a sugar motor. And this is for a 54 millimeter grain. I can make the grain shorter. So instead of using seven, I can use maybe nine or so. I can make the nozzle smaller. That's an option. Or I can make a change to the fuel. And the last one is the one that I chose to do. So let's take a look at how I did that. And at the end of the video, there's going to be another test burn. Sorbitol grains are typically made up of 65% potassium nitrate and 35% sorbitol. So what I've done is I've swapped out some of that sorbitol sugar for sucrose. So I use 20% of the sugar is now sucrose. And I just call that 80-20 just so I can keep track of it. But uh, that what that does is it makes the fuel burn faster. Faster burning fuel increases the burn rate and reduces the amount of time that the motor will burn. And that in turn increases the amount of lifting power that the rocket will have. I know someone's going to ask me, why don't I just use all sucrose and not even use any sorbitol at all? Well, because it's a double-edged sword. Yes, it will make the fuel burn faster, but it also can tend to make the fuel burn uncontrollably or make it difficult to control the pressure. So faster is not always better. In some cases, you just want the fuel to burn at a rate that you expect so that you can design the motor around those parameters. I'll leave a link in the description to our friends over there at Rotary Rocketry. Now they did some sucrose experiments and you can see how things turned out for them or did not turn out. Anyways, I'll leave a link so you can uh, enjoy that video as well. It's time to put the motor on the thrust stand and see what happens when I add 20% sucrose. Well, first the good news. It uh, did burn around two seconds or so, and it didn't blow up. That's always good news, right? Uh, the bad news is, is that the phone that I used to record the scale uh, kind of decided to do its own thing. It uh, did the zoom in, in and out thing, so uh, I can't show you that video because it's just too hard to watch. But I am able to grab screenshots of it, and uh, I'll put one up for you so you can see. It is unfortunately zoomed in, but you can see enough of it to determine how much uh, thrust that it did generate. Okay, so the next step is to put this motor in a rocket and send it up. So hopefully soon uh, I'll be able to fly this. I have a field that's ready and the rocket's ready. So come back, check it out, and until then, I'll see you in the next video. 980 case, 8020 fuel.